Your forecast first for tonight. Skies become mostly clear. Last of the isolated showers and thunderstorms come to an end. 52 degrees for an overnight low. For tomorrow in Spokane, looks like we'll be sunny in the morning. Some clouds building up in the afternoon. I don't think we're going to see anything coming out of those clouds in Spokane. Once you head into the higher terrain, it's another story. 79 our high temperature, which is above average. Our average high is 69. Today we made it up to 74 thanks to some sunshine. No precipitation out at the airport and 835 is our sunset time right now. It's 73 in Spokane winds out of the west southwest at seven miles per hour. I want to point out our dew point because it is has been a little bit higher the past few days than what we are accustomed to, but it's starting to dry out a little bit still feels a little muggy by our standards, which makes people from the Midwest uh, giggle. 70 in Coeur d'Alene right now with northwest winds at 10. Zoomed in on Doppler radar, very hit and miss showers around the region with just one area of thunderstorm activity. Now to the south and west of St. Mary's, generally moving to the south, and that's about it thunderstorm wise. Here's a broader view on our Doppler radar, and we've had a rumble of thunder here and there, but a much calmer picture than this time yesterday and it's going to be even more so tomorrow with mainly mountain showers and thunderstorms. Satellite and radar shows we still have that counterclockwise rotation in the atmosphere but it continues to sink to the south and by tomorrow we're going to be almost completely out of its grasp. Just a little bit of lingering instability. Meanwhile we have another area of low pressure that's just going to brush by to our north on Friday. That may bring an isolated shower thunderstorm. And I'm watching a third area of low pressure out here in the Pacific. Now that comes in for late Monday, and that could be a game changer as we get into the middle of next week. In the short term, we have mostly clear skies by the time the those showers taper off later this evening. A beautiful night. Partly sunny tomorrow for Omak and Moses Lake with temperatures in the mid 80s around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. 70s and lower 80s. Isolated thunderstorms around Newport, Coeur d'Alene in Spokane I think will be staying dry. Also the possibility of some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the Northeast Mountains, North Idaho, a much better chance once we're into Western Montana and the Central Panhandle. Lewiston, you may have another round of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms for Cranbrook and Missoula, but quiet elsewhere around the region with a warming trend, 79 tomorrow. Isolated storms possible on Friday, mainly over the higher terrain. That's from that system passing by to our north. And then, <clears throat> once again, I have revised Saturday's forecast. Ooh, I know, I think people are watching that very closely. Still warm, took the chance of showers out. Mm. I think those will be done on Friday if we get them at all. And then next week, we start to see some changes with that system out in the Pacific with another round of needed rain.